Hi friends! I'm sorry about the way this is going to look for a second. I'm going to try to do most of it from this angle so I don't have to move the camera around a whole lot. I might move the machine around more. Got a new tripod finally, but I'm not crazy about it. And right now it's on top of a piece of Tupperware. So today, I just, I didn't set up my scan and cut before I got started because a lot of people in the group, and um, if you're not already in our scan and cut group on Facebook, please look us up. It's Brother Scan and Cut. It's really long. Brother Scan and Cut Tutorials with Clever Dog Designs or something like that. Um, but look us up and join our group. We've got a lot going on over there and a lot of really wonderful members and helpers and stuff. So... <clears throat> Um, a lot of the people in our group, I just asked who hasn't got their machine out, and there are so many of you. I got over 300 replies, and people are still replying. <clears throat> Excuse me for all of my grumblings. I'm still trying to wake up mm. and drink some warm beverage. Anyways, so what we're going to do today is I want to get this scan and cut turned on and kind of show you what the pieces are that we need today. Um, we're going to do a screen print and I'll show you what that is really quick. And I'll try to find my towel that has it on it. But this is a screen print that I created and it's a lyric from um, a Tim McGraw song, Meanwhile Back at Mama's, it's one of my favorites. And it's just HTV and what your design, instead of cutting it out backwards, you cut it out normal. And it's organza right here. That's your, gonna be your screen. And you iron the HTV onto the organza and it all becomes one big old piece of plastic. And then you wrap it in, this is duct tape, but I would use something stronger. I only have clear contact paper today. I don't know why, for some crazy reason. We don't have any duct tape in this whole house. But um, So I'm going to use the clear contact paper today. But this is what we're going to be creating. We're just going to use a design that's already on the machine. We're not going to do anything um, hard. We're not going to hook up to a computer right now. We're just going to use the beautiful machine that we purchased. We're not going to have to get fancy. Okay? So this is the CM350. It's one of the older versions. I think it's probably like the middle version because there were versions before mine and versions after mine. And the DX is the current version that people have, the new version. I don't have that one, but if enough of you watch my videos, I'll get one. <laughs> That's kind of how it works, right? So in, in the DX, I've watched a few videos and this, you don't have to mess with this as much. And um, I'm not sure what the other features are that are different, but on the 350, you just pull that up. I'm just gonna pull this over here. You pull this up this screen and you can change the spot where it's at. You can lay it back down. Mine's a little manhandled. I'm not easy on my machines, unfortunately. But I love this machine. I love this thing so much. I hope you love yours too. When I asked that question about who hadn't got their machines out of the boxes yet, um, there were a lot of people who just, they tried it once and hated it. And that makes me so sad because I love, 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 love my machine. So today you're going to need a mat. Mine is very dirty and not sticky at all. And I haven't got any of that glue stuff that people have used to do it. I just haven't tried it yet. But I know that there's a way to restick it. And there's lots of different ways that people use. And then I also have a 12 by 24 mat. This is what we're going to use today because it's brand new and it's super sticky. Even though we're only going to use a little part of it. Um, it still has the cover on it. I used it once to cut some stuff and it cut deep on one side, but that's because of my machine, not because of the mat. And then I just put it up and taped the rest of the stuff to the old one because I didn't care if that one got cut. 
So, all right, so with your machine, it'll come your power pack thingy. It looks like this, and you probably already know this. I do not probably need to show you all this, but this is the cord. You plug it in. I've got to unplug the camera. And then this part right here. plugs into the back and you're like yeah yeah I already know that I already know that I think the piece that's missing for everybody is what cord do you use when you want to transfer something from your computer right that's the big question and now I don't know where mine is oh there it is so if you have an embroidery machine a brother embroidery machine it came with this and I've heard a lot of different people say printer cable. I don't have a printer cable that looks like this. So, sure, it could be. But it has a USB on one side that plugs into your computer. And then this is the side that plugs into the scanning cut. And that's what allows your computer to talk to our beautiful machines. And I don't need to use it today, but I wanted to show it to you guys. It plugs into the side over here. For those of you that, that are kind of, that don't really care about the designs on the machine, because they are kind of elementary, kind of simple. Um, if you don't want to use those and you want to design your own, it gets a little frustrating trying to figure out how to get it to the machine if you're not, if you don't have a wireless card. So you just plug it in here on this side and you're done. And then if you create something on the machine, you can do that backwards. Actually, I don't think you need to change it. It'll, it'll automatically read it. It's called removable disk whenever it comes up on your computer. So, let's see. Okay, so one of the first things that I should have done before I started the live stream was calibrate my machine. So without a doubt, this is going to cut wonky and we're just gonna all have to be okay with that. I'm gonna try to brighten this up a little. See how that works. Okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing good. Okay, so to create the screen, we need some pretty organza. I don't know why it got all dark in here. Nothing changed. <laughs> so annoying. Nothing changed at all, and the camera just decided, let's be dark. So we're just going to use organza, and we're going to iron it to the HTV. Okay, so I'm going to put this over here. <clears throat> I'm going to use this white scrapey thing that I can't even tell you where I got it. I think probably at um, a little store called Wilco that's close to us. It's our little farm store. But I can't remember. But I do know that I got these at um, Harbor Freight. So that's a three pack. They were probably five bucks there. You can find scrapers everywhere. These are pretty flexible and nice. You just want something. You could even use the ones from Pampered Chef. That's what I use for almost everything else. Here's a couple more screens that I did. This is where my husband used to work. So we made some screens. And then a little pumpkin. So if you have a small thing, this will take your whole project. You'll just put it on there and spread it across and it'll put a design on your project. If you have a big piece of fabric, you can hop it around and make your own designs. It's so fun. And I made that for a kitchen towel. And then this one's my last name. This one didn't turn out very good because the uh, iron was too high. It was all weird and wonky. So it looks kind of weird. My E is very awful. So, thanks for joining me, by the way, and if you've been here since the beginning of it, I am taking my time today just to kind of 
Make sure that I cover all the bases. I usually rush through the live streams because I'm so nervous. And I'm still really, really nervous, but I'm sucking it up. So this is what I'm using today to cut uh, to cover the edges of our, of our screen. But ultimately, I think that you might want to use wood or, um, you know, a, a stronger screen if it's going to be something you're going to use a lot. If it's something you're going to only use a couple times, you can just use contact paper or what's that other stuff? Uh, duct tape. Okay, I have this huge bin of scrap HTV. And if you don't know what HTV is, that's something that, that kind of eluded me for a while, so there's no judgment. I mean, I heard it was heat transfer vinyl, but I didn't understand it was the stuff for t-shirts. So this is my scrap bin. These are all the pieces that were too small to go back on the roll, but I didn't have any use for, obviously. <laughs> that's what scraps are. These are um, Sizer Easy Weed. And they're really flexible and thin. It's my preferred one for this. It's totally plastic. So it's just, you were just cutting a design out of plastic and then ironing it to the organza, turning it into a screen. It's so cool. So that's these two kinds. We cut with the shiny side down. And we don't have to mirror these because they're screens. But if you're going to be putting it on a t-shirt, you need to mirror it. So like if it's going to be something directional anyways. So if you're going to put like Stephanie on there, you want to make sure that it's backwards when you're doing a shirt. Okay, so maybe we can do one of those two. I'll do a screen print and, and uh, just a regular HTV. Let's do that. All right, so this kind, so these kind meld into the fabric really good, but this shiny stuff, it's like, it's really pretty glittery stuff. It's gonna sit on top of the fabric to keep it shiny like this and to keep its, um, the speckles. It has to sit on top of the fabric. So it's not gonna, don't use it whenever you find these. They're really fun to work with, but don't use it on anything that's stretchy because it doesn't have any stretch. But this has stretch. I think this is just the Cricut kind. And it has stretch. It's, it's more of a chrome than a glitter. I hope that makes sense. So this is more glittery, has more of a structure. This is just chromey. Chromey. And let's see, I cut out some some uh, gold stuff and then just kept all the trimmings and stuff because I really like that and I can use I can cut it into smaller pieces and use it in applique and stuff and stuff and stuff that's my word today okay so this is just a scrapbook box by the way keeps everything nice and tidy and flat for the most part all right, so let's get all of that stuff out of the way. I have the 12 by 24 mat over here. We already talked about that. I keep all of these supplies in a folder. All of the organ or all of yeah, all the organza and all the screens and um, stuff like that, just in a folder with the pockets, and then I put it up on the bookshelf. It's nice and neat. Oh, that's good. And then this shirt, can you see that? I found this shirt at a going out of business sale. If you have a Shopco near you, these are going out of business t-shirts. They say $6.99, but they were a dollar or something. And all three of the shirts that I picked up had holes in them. Well, actually, two of them had holes in them, and one of them had where there was a hole, and you could see that they'd sewn it back up and still tried to sell it. For $6.99. It was crazy. So so today we're going to put the design right over the top. And so I think that, like I said, I'm going to do two. I'll do one for the screen and then one for, um, for accent with just regular HTV so you can see how both of those work. So this is going to be a long live stream. We're going to be doing a lot, ironing, all that stuff, and I'm not going to be hurrying. So I picked this stuff up at 
Hobby Lobby a long time ago. I've never been able to find it again. But, well, probably if I looked online, I could find it. But it's made by Momenta Stencil Fabric Paint, and it's just like ink. Like, it's just a big glob of ink. If you've worked with um, the ink gel um, um, icing colors, color food coloring, it's like that consistency. So you don't need a whole lot of it at all. Let's see if I can find the one that I did. Oh yeah, nope, no. that is HTV though. This is a HTV towel that I did. This is kitchen, is the heart of the home. I think I got it from Apex's cuttable site. And with regular HTV, the, the kind that I showed you, the Sizer Easy Weed, it melts into your fabric. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. But it kind of just matches into your fabric, but it, it doesn't, it sits on your fabric still. And it's stretchy and beautiful. And I watch, wash this all the time. And it's gunky and has stains and stuff like that, but it turned out really, really nice. And I'll try to remember to put the link to where I got the towels because those were really, really, really good. So why am I trying to look in there? Oh, <laughs> don't hate me. I got ink, I mean paint all over the one that says meanwhile back at Mama's. But this is the one from that, that I used the stencil paint with. And it goes right, it bleeds right into the fabric. So it looks like it's printed on the fabric. So that's the difference between that. And it's totally in the fabric. There's no, um, it doesn't sit on top of it at all. And I was a total novice, so I put too much ink on my heart. And when I lifted it, I lifted it slowly, too, and lifted it off all weird. But for the most part, I think it turned out really cute. So, yeah. I'm going to check the comments, see how you guys are doing. All messages. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing good. Okay, so I guess we can just get started. Let's turn on our cute little machines. I'm going to move you. Sorry if it falls. Hmm. It's not even that bright of a day outside. There we go. So if you have the CM350, this is what it's going to look like when you turn it on. Okay? And if you're just now joining and you're wondering why I am talking like you've never seen your machine before, it's because I'm trying to reach the people who are afraid to get their machines out or um, have got it out once and made a mistake and didn't want to touch it again. So I want you guys... I got over 300 responses to that question and that made me think like, I paid $350 for my machine and I think I did math at some point along the way and it ended up being like $100,000 worth of machines just sitting around on shelves for whatever reason. Most of it is just life. People are busy, right? Everybody's busy. I understand that. I work from home and, and never leave and I'm still too busy for my skin to cut sometimes. So whenever you choose the home button, it's going to say the carriage and mat will move to the initial position. Keep your hands, etc., away from the carriage. The carriage is this whole part down here. Let's see. This whole part. So I'm going to choose OK. Don't touch it. Make sure you don't have a mat in there already or anything like that. If you do, it'll just spit it out. So it's not that big of a deal. OK. So it just kind of, kind of sets itself. So you can choose scan or pattern. We're going to... We're going to hit on the scan feature on another one, but let's just go with the pattern today and let's pick something cute that maybe has 
two separate parts or two different ones that we can be make be cute together. Let's see. Maybe we'll do a frame. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have chose this before dragging you guys into it. I think I'm just going to go with some flowers though because that looks easy to stencil. So these will be easy too but you don't want to make them too big because then you have to drag a lot of paint across. Try to make smaller designs if you want to use the bigger. I hope that makes sense. Um, uh, sorry. The bigger they are the more paint you're going to use and the more unstable it's going to be I guess in the frame. The frame's not going to have enough stability unless you build a really big frame. So just just use some kind of directional thoughts, you know, think about how it's going to work out. This is probably going to be pretty good. That one is pretty cute too. So let's just go ahead and use this one. Choose OK. OK. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just going to choose one even though I am going to resize it. I'm going to only choose one because I don't want to have to resize each one. Set. And you can use um, your stylus you should have, but you can use your finger. You can also use a wooden like um, embossing pen. I use that all the time. I've never embossed with it, but I use it for this. I just don't know where it is right this second. <laughs> I just want to make these about two and a half inches. And now, let's make five across. We'll click OK. And then this button right here is going to help us put them in order. OK. OK, so this is going to be too big with five of them. So choose OK. Let's get rid of this extra one. OK. And then I want it to look a little bit more organic, so I'm going to kind of move them around, space them a little differently. Okay. And then we're going to click on this one. It's going to group everything. Can you guys see that okay? It does not look like you can see it okay. Sorry about that. Still trying to get used to doing these. <laughs> Okay, so when we group all of these, I'll go back out. So we've got all four of these that we, we just made four of them. We're going to pick this button here, and it's going to give us the option to just choose a certain part of what's on the screen to group, or we're going to group them all. Since we only have this on here, that didn't really matter, that last one we did. So choose OK. Oh. Now I figure, oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> then we're going to choose that to group them all together. I don't know all the terminology of all that stuff. Choose OK, and that takes it into one file that we can move around. My machine's been cutting wonky on this side, so I'm going to go ahead and move it over here. And then let's add a new pattern. And do, 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 do. So in this one, they have all the shapes and stuff, so you can choose just random shapes. There's cute shapes. I think this one's like like a sea star kind of star. And then I'm sure these all have to do with making boxes or something crazy. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go get that other flower. Click OK. OK. And then this one. It won't let me make smaller. Okay, I'm going to click on that. Sorry if I'm going too fast. And now let's go to the edit. Take it down here. Now let's make this one even smaller. Let's make this one... <laughs> one and three quarters. And then let's see how many of these we can get on the row. Click OK. OK. Click this button again. Same as last time. That's funny. And go to the edit screen, go to delete, choose OK. 
And then, oh, and then this is where we can do this one. Let's see. Let's move this all the way down here since this is already together. Kind of glad this happened in this. And then we'll go up here and choose that button. And this is where this is going to come into play because we've already selected that. We don't want to also select that. We just want to turn this into one line. So we'll click OK. Click OK. No, it wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> hmm. Well. Hmm, that's how that's supposed to work. It's only supposed to select what's in your, in your view. Oh, there we go. But it didn't grab that last one. So let's cancel that, try that again. Did I accidentally do that last time? Okay. So you just have to bring it down. I don't know why it was sensitive. Click OK. And now, now you have your second group of flowers. So I wanted to print out or to cut out like this. We're going to do this smaller set with HTV and the bigger set with the um, screen print we're going to make. The screen we're going to make. Okay. We'll choose OK. Okay, and on our pressure, we really need it to be, I mean, it's better to cut as slow as you can on this machine. The faster you cut, the, the more it wants to try to take shortcuts. Cut pressure, we don't need a lot, but I'm going to bump it up to two because it does have that Teflon sheet in front of it. It can handle it. And I don't think we need to change anything else. Nope. Click OK. And we're going to choose Cut. And it's telling us it's going to take four minutes, okay? Okay, well, I guess it only shows your guys' messages for like a second. So I'm sorry if I'm not getting them, but I hope you guys are talking to each other. Things are going good. <laughs> so I'm going to get zoomed out. I'm going to get this mat ready with the HTV on it. They should be the same brand, but they don't look the same. I don't know if you can tell, but this one is more flimsy. This one is not, but I don't really stray. Usually. Oh, well, one might be Silhouette and one might be Sizer. I'm pretty sure this is a Sizer, though, because it's very, very um, flexible. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. Can you see that? No, you can't. So you put it face down. In, in our opinion of face, you put it shiny side down, okay, with HTV. And this does matter, the shiny side down still does matter with the screen printing. It, you just don't have to mirror your directional designs with the, um, with screen printing, because you can just turn the screen over. No big deal. Okay, I want to try to avoid that because there's a weird pucker on the other side. Okay. So the new the new mats are so Oh, that's also something that I need to change. Let's get out of here. Click okay. Go in here. Mm. 
Dang it. Okay. I made a big mistake. But mistakes are cool when you have an audience because usually they make mistakes too. Okay, I don't know why it's so blurry and I'm so sorry guys. I need to save this design if I, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room to save it, but I'm gonna try to save it onto the machine. Includes a grouped pattern on the mat. Cannot ungroup the pattern once you saved it. Oh. Hmm. Click OK. OK, so I did have the room. We need to turn this off. And then when we turn it back on, that's when we need to tell it. We need to go in here. Oh, maybe I could have just went in there the whole time. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Not awake, guys. I mean, trying to be awake. Okay, so the cut area is what I need to change. And that is in here with this little wrench. I need to change it to a 1224. If you got a 1224 mat and you couldn't figure that out, I couldn't figure it out either for the longest time. So instead of when you're in the pattern, and instead of whenever you're in here, clicking OK and going to this, which is where you think that you'd be able to find it. You can't. It's not there, right? That's what our logic tells us. It's actually right here. And you have to set it before you go to cut. Right up here to a 12 by 24. Choose OK. Choose OK. OK. But I don't need to cut that thing. So how do I get out of here? Delete. OK. All right, so now to find our design again. Let's go into saved data. Go to the machine and go down and find our design. Click OK. And then, oh, it didn't group them. Cool. I was afraid it was going to group them both together with each other. So it didn't. I'm really happy about that because we're going to scan our material into the machine so we can see exactly where to place these on on the HTV and it is going to be hard because it's black but it is what it is <laughs> okay let's see oh I'm looking at the camera just in time to see Alpha's message hi Alpha hope you're doing good okay I'm going to try to move this and then I'm going to zoom in, but I need a lot of room around the machine for the mat because it's so big. So once we have it loaded up, I know that that's a rough angle and I'm really, really, really sorry. And I'm really sorry for apologizing. I know you guys don't want to hear that either. Okay. Uh-oh, it says it won't recognize my mat. Maybe if I turn it around. Happy live stream. I don't know why it doesn't want to recognize my poor mat. It's cut with it before. disappointing <laughs> well, 
Don't know what to do about that. I'm sure there's something to do about it, but I'm not going to keep fighting with it. It recognizes my old junky mat. We're just going to go back to normal. Stop trying to be so fancy. Use new and cool stuff. Sorry if that noise annoys you. That noise really makes me crazy. Is what it is, right? Really? Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Corey. I don't know if you guys saw that message from Corey, but he said that there's something in the new update that messes with the mats and that they will be willing to send new ones if you contact Brother. So thank you very much for that, Corey. So for now, we're just going to go back to the simple ways so I guess we can get out of this view for you This one first. Oops. I used to have this big tall chair that I put the camera on so it would get a higher view. And that chair has just magically disappeared. I think it magically went to the dump because it was old and junky, but I like to use things till the wheels fall off. <laughs> so that's why you guys are at this weird angle today. I didn't realize that my chair was gone until it was like 1057 and I'm like going to get my chair okay so worst comes to worst just go ahead and tape it to an old map with your contact paper or painters tape or there's a number of things you can use and sometimes it will still just stick because the Teflon is is nice okay oh it was zoomed in I tried to zoom out like five times and it it kept telling me no, like it was already zoomed in. Okay, don't pull your machine by the door like I did. Do what I do, but don't do what I do, okay? All right, so for this one, we're just gonna worry about this top one for now. Maybe we'll make these smaller. No, let's leave it. Okay, let's get out of here. Click okay. Mm, nope, we gotta move. We gotta put both of those on there. I don't know what I was thinking. Ah! Well, at least it recognizes my mat. <laughs> I don't know why I was trying to do it without both of them. Trying to be a easy rider today.
I thought I was all well planned out. You know how that goes. I think you're doing really good and then you start to do something and like of course whenever it's a live video it's going to be completely different than you envisioned. Things aren't going to work out like you hope. <laughs> but like I said before I, I kind of like when I make mistakes and you guys are watching because for the simple fact that when you make them too, you'll know what to do. If you make them. I shouldn't say when you make them. That's presumptuous. But if you make the same mistakes I've made. Okay. So that should keep them on there. We'll see. This mat's not sticky, so well, I guess there's some stick. Okay. Come here, pretty. Now, drum roll. Dun, 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 dun. This is the whole reason I bought this machine over the other cutters. Because when you put your material in here, I want you guys to see the screen. Let's see. Sorry if this is messing with any of you. Just close your eyes for one second. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, so we know roughly where the stuff is on the mat because we can look at it and see where it's at, right? But sometimes it goes a little over a line, a little under a line. Sometimes we only have a tiny piece of material to work with, right? Because it's all we have in that color or something. Or it's all we need is just a tiny one. This is invaluable. This is the tool that you're going to use to scan in your material. Okay? It's going to say scan the mat and show as background. Put materials to scan on the mat. Set it to the machine. Press start stop button to scan. So it's going to scan the whole entire mat. Okay? Close your eyes again. <laughs> okay, open. All right. So, you can't really see because it's dark, but you can tell that your design is going to fit in there. I'm going to actually edit it to make it a little bit smaller so I have some round space. Okay, to delete. Cancel. I didn't want to delete. I want to make small. Okay, so let's see. Let's just make it two inches tall. Okay. And then, like I said, this is going to cut heavy on one side. So let's move this over here, but still have enough around it for it to kind of have a frame and for you to have room to put the duct tape on. So we could have cut it out. And then we would have had no room on the edges if we had gone by our visuals and said like, oh yeah, we know it'll fit in those parameters. But now we know that yes, it'll fit in those parameters, but we can also put a little frame around it. So the second one is kind of hiding in here. We'll do the same thing. It has enough on the top and the bottom, but not on the sides. It pushes it right to the sides. So let's... And if you don't want to do like the whole proportions, oh, it won't let us with this one, but usually you can push that button so that you only do height or only do width. Okay, and let's bring it over here as much as we can. We're still giving it a little bit of a frame. Okay. Click OK. OK. OK again. Now we're going to choose cut. It's going to give us four minutes again. Now, on the 350, you do have to make sure that your blade is at the right, excuse me, the right height, the right setting. And you can touch it and feel it, make sure it's down there. It's not, it's not crazy sharp. I mean, don't go like poking it, but you can feel it. So for contact paper and um, thin adhesive, 
as well as HTV. I keep it around one, but I almost always do a test cut. Okay, and if you want to do a test cut, I'll show you how to do that real quick, but I'm not going to do that because I know this is going to cut wonky. I've been aware of this, and like I said, I should have done the um, do, 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 do first. What's it called? Alignment, and I would do that with you guys, but sometimes it takes like five minutes of poking over and over again to get it aligned. The new DX, you're not supposed to have to align it, so that's really exciting. So why I should be able to replace, oh, <laughs> okay, so remember how we changed it to 12 by 24? We need to go in here. It's, see, that's why I thought we had to stop everything. Click OK, get back out of here. We need to save this whole setup. Overwrite, let's overwrite what we had. That's good, so we don't have to save a new one. Okay, now let's turn it off. Turn it back on. So yeah, live streams can't ever just go smooth. <laughs> Okay, we'll choose home, choose okay. It's gonna spit out the mat, so I'm gonna move this back a little. Okay, we're gonna choose pattern, save data, machine, second page, click okay. And then we're gonna have to scan in our stuff again. Oh. <laughs> oh, I almost messed myself up again. Let's see if it'll let me change it here. Okay, so it did because I didn't choose the cut yet. Let's choose our 12 by 12. Okay, so I'm going to go back out and show you guys what I did again. So we're in this screen. We have our design up. We're going to choose the little wrench over here. And then this is going to let us change our mat size. Right now I have it set to 1224 because the mat got before was supposed to work. Um, change it back to 1212. Click OK. OK. And now we're going to scan our materials in again. Okay. Usually that start stop button over there is green whenever it's ready to start and stop. I got a little short over there going on. Hopefully my husband can help me with that. Or maybe there's a YouTube video. See, now it's green. Maybe it just needed to be ready with the mat. It scans everything, even the little dog hairs on there. It's pretty gross, but we're not worried about that. So it should be perfect because of how we left it. Click OK. Choose cut. Sorry. Oops. Sorry about that. You might want to close your eyes and cover your ears for about four minutes. <laughs> Wish I could speed up the live stream. That would be cool. So while this is cutting, I can see your comments if you guys want to say hi. Hope you all are doing wonderful. We've been having really weird weather. It's like summer in the morning and then spring and then winter by the evening. <laughs> it's just really weird. So it has about three more minutes to go. If this is loud, you can put earmuffs on or come back in three minutes or two minutes now. But I'm glad to have you if you can't, if you can stand the sound of this. I personally have earmuffs on. See, aren't they so cute? 
Well, it looks like it is going to cut in that bad spot. Okay, so it's finished, it's finished cutting. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and unload the mat. And if you just joined us, we're cutting two separate pieces of HTV. One of them we're gonna use to make a silk screen and we're gonna use um, screen printing ink to fill that in. And then the other one we're going to iron on just regular HTV so you can see how both of those work with HTV now we're done with the machine we can go ahead and close this up and say thank you but I'm gonna leave her here in the background because she's so cute So if you're also if you're just joining us, I had to tape these onto my mat because it wouldn't recognize my newest mat, which is a 12 by 24 mat, and this mat is just all done. Okay, so we're just gonna take them off the mat. You can see you can see the designs, but it didn't cut through. So that's what we were hoping for. Same with this one. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this one for the screen print because this is the more sturdier HTV, it feels like. So I feel like that's just gonna do better keeping the, the paint from coming through. But I don't know, I don't know anything about this stuff really. <laughs> I just watch videos and try things myself. So first thing we have to do with the screen print one is we're going to take out the middle of these flowers. Now if you do them delicately enough you aren't going to rip them and you'll be able to save the flower itself if you care for another project. So these are the kind of things that I'll put into that scrapbook box so this will give us the opportunity to have this as the screen and then we're going to put this over organza iron it on and then we're going to take red paint and we're going to scrape it over it and make a pretty flower so i'm going to work on getting these out 
HTV one is going to be backwards in all of this. The the iron on one instead of the doing this one. It's going to be a long live stream. I'm going really slow on purpose so that everybody kind of can follow along and those of you who are scared of your machines, you cannot be scared anymore. One of the biggest tips that you can from that I feel like I can give is um, to start low on your your uh, cutting, like start really low and do tons of test cuts. Don't start with a high number. Three is a high number. Okay, so start really low, like lower than one. And then the other, let's see, I don't remember what my other one was. <laughs> so look at all these cute ones. We can even still use these on the shirt we're going to make. Okay, so then we'll take more of, uh, once we iron it onto the organza, we'll be able to take the Teflon piece off, and then you'll just have the screen. Then we'll put some, we're going to use just clear contact paper today, because I don't know where any oh, uh, duct tape is, but that's what you have to do to get it ready for the screen print, okay? So... Uh, if you are only interested in the screen print, probably come back in about 10 minutes whenever I have all the stuff gathered up for that. So this is regular HTV. I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off of this. This is what we're going to just iron on to the shirt. I mean, they're both regular HTV, but we had to do it that way so that we could create a screen. We're not trying to create a screen on this one. We're trying to get those flowers in this state on here. Okay. So see how it's the it has the Teflon sheet right here? You peel off the negative space and it's sticky. And you can also once you've used a piece of Teflon you can save that and keep reusing it. You don't have to throw your Teflon away. You could use it for other things. I don't know. Leave me some comments on what your guys' waste situation is. What do you do with all of your scraps and stuff? Like, I don't know. I think my parents raised me a little bit too... Um... Poor is not a nice word, but... <laughs> We had to grow up in a way that you had to be resourceful and everything could be turned into something of value. So I have a really hard time getting rid of anything. I'm going to throw this HTV away and it's going to kill me. But I'm going to do it because I'm getting healthier. <laughs> so this is called weeding. If you haven't done this yet, we have to weed out all the parts that we don't want on our shirt. We want this part to show. You see it? It's my fat head in the way. There we go. Sometimes I like to leave it on the mat and then it's just sticky. 